20 plus tips for new HomePod users. Settings for your HomePod can be found inside the Home app. So all you need to do is open up the Home app, long press on the HomePod, and then tap the details button in the bottom right hand corner. And there you go. Many of the settings related to your HomePod. You can also use the HomePod settings to rename the smart speaker. So I'm going to rename mine White Pod since I have a white and black HomePod. To talk to Siri, you can simply long press on the touch surface. What time is it? The time is 12. Or you can use voice controls. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 12:29 p.m. Hey, Siri, what's the weather like today in Chicago? It's currently foggy and 44 degrees in Chicago, Illinois. Expect cloudy skies starting in the afternoon. Now there are a couple of ways to disable Hey Siri. You could do so from the HomePod settings like that or use voice controls. Hey Siri, disable Hey Siri. I can turn off Hey Siri, but if I do, you'll need to press the top of the device to get my attention. Is this what you want? Yes. Okay, I've turned off Hey Siri. Hey, turn off my string lights. Controlling HomeKit is easy. All set. With HomePod. Hey, turn on my string lights. All set. You can set an alarm on your HomePod by opening up its respective tile and then tapping the alarms button in the bottom left hand corner. From there, it's just a matter of setting the alarm. Now you can also use voice controls. Hey, set an alarm for one o'clock. The alarm set for 1 p.m. Hey, play Meteor by Jeff Benjamin. Okay, playing Meteor by Jeff Benjamin. That's simple and straightforward enough. You can adjust volume by using the plus and minus buttons on the touch surface. So you can tap them one at a time like this to go up incrementally or go down incrementally. You can also long press for quicker adjustments. And of course, you can also use your voice to control volume as well. Hey, increase volume by 50%. Hey, set volume to 10. Hey, set volume to 85. Of course, you can control music playback with your voice. Hey, pause. Hey, play. Just takes a second. Hey, go to the next song. Hey, the previous song. And you can also control music playback using the touch surface. So a single tap will play in pause. Double tap will go back to the previous track. A triple tap will skip to the next track. You can also play and pause the music directly from the home app just by tapping the HomePod tile. You can ask Siri to play similar music. Hey, Siri, more songs like this. And she'll be happy to oblige. All right. More songs like Persephone coming up after this one. Hey, add this song to my library. Short and simple. Okay, I've added it. Hey, play the latest episode of 9 to 5 Max Happy Hour. No problem. Here's the newest episode of 9 to 5 Mac Happy Hour, 159, HomePod Review Roundup. 9 to 5 Mac Happy Hour is sponsored by MonoAir. Stay tuned for a special coupon code and say Hey, play the latest news. Here's the latest news from the Washington Post. Hey, I switched to NPR. Good morning. I'm James Holman. Here's the latest news from NPR. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Lakshmi Singh. Hey, add Meteor by Jeff Benjamin to Up Next. Got it. I'll put on Meteor by Jeff Benjamin a bit later. Hey, what song plays next? 
Meteor by Jeff Benjamin is up next. Now you can access HomePod music controls and now playing information from any iOS device on the same network. So just open up Control Center, long press on the music widget, find your HomePod, and there you go. Just tap on it, and that reveals the now playing interface. You can control your HomePod here. You can play, pause, skip, uh, go back, control volume if you want to. It's HomePod controls directly from your iOS device. But it doesn't stop there. You can also fully control music playback from HomePod just by tapping on the album artwork from the now playing interface in Control Center. And from there, you get the full music app experience. You can see it's connected to the HomePod right now. So now I can swipe down to get rid of the now playing interface. I can, of course, see where music is routed to the HomePod, and I can just go and select any other song I want to hear, and that will play directly on the HomePod. But what's really cool about this is that it allows you to share the up next queue. So I'm going to open up the HomePod controls and open up the full music app for the HomePod. So I'm just gonna tap on this right here at the bottom. This is not my device, but it is on the same Wi-Fi network. So I open it up and you can see you get the full experience like I showed you before. But what's nice about this is that this allows you to queue up music, even if it's not your particular device. Uh, if they're on the same Wi-Fi network, if they have Apple Music, they're gonna be able to contribute to the party. So if you're having a party, multiple people can contribute to the playlist. So for example, I'm going to add this album to Up Next, and let's switch back over to my iPhone and see if the changes took place. So just swipe up to check the queue. And yes, you can see that the songs queued up by the other device are there. Now, although you can't start a phone call from your HomePod, you can transfer a phone call that's already in progress to your HomePod, just like this. Now, if you press and hold the play button on the Apple TV remote while on the home screen, you can select audio output options, including your HomePod. So I'm going to choose my Office 2 HomePod here and use it as an Apple TV speaker, which is really, really cool. But the other benefit of this is that once connected, you can use Siri commands to control your Apple TV. Hey, pause. Hey, play. Now you only get a few commands that work. It's very limited at this point, but it shows promise. Now it's possible to airplay any audio from your Mac to your HomePod. Just open up system preferences, open up the sound panel. Under output, you'll see several options there, including any HomePods that you have on your network. But the really cool thing you wanna pay attention to is this little option down at the bottom, show volume in menu bar. Now, why is that important? Well, it's important because it allows you just via a single click to instantly switch audio output to your HomePod. So if I wanna to switch to my Office 2 HomePod, I can do that, or my BlackPod, I can do that. Now, although stereo pairing isn't officially supported with the HomePod yet, just because AirPlay 2 hasn't yet launched, there is a workaround that we covered last week involving Airfoil, which is a Mac utility. So if you create a duplicate copy of Airfoil and run two different instances of Airfoil, you can link each instance to one of the HomePods on your network. Uh, and then that allows you to output only to the left and to the right on each respective HomePod. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm basically setting up the balance to be all the way to the right on the right hand home pod and all the way to the left on the left hand home pod. And then I play them and then you get an output that isn't exactly what Apple had in mind, but it'll hold you over until AirPlay 2 launches. And then finally, how to reset the home pod. The easy way is to open up the home pod settings, scroll to the bottom, tap remove accessory and then tap remove. But you can also reset the home pod from the device itself. So unplug the home pod and then plug it back in, and then when you plug it back in, wait three seconds and then tap and hold on the touch surface. So plug it back in, one, two, three, tap and hold, continue holding until the little Siri indicator turns red and continue to hold until you hear a message from Siri. So just take a second here and here we go. Your HomePod is about to reset. Keep pressing until you hear three beeps and your reset. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been 20 plus tips for the HomePod. Do you have any tips that you would like to share? Please do so down below in the comment section. And also, if you appreciated this video, please leave us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.